All right, I'm gonna regret this, but um, hi think? viewers, I'm playing this game. I don't know right. why, but I'm playing this game. <sighs> Fuck sake! Right, I can hear the crickets. There we go. I I shouldn't be playing this game in the mood I'm in, but I am. So this game is uh, the scariest out of them all I've played because uh, you have to stay completely silent for it, which means if you get jump scared, it's just going to hit harder. And the reason why I shouldn't be playing this right now is because I've only mentioned it a couple times, but my biggest fear is spiders. And I'm in a crisis right now because... I told this to Byron, but I just I just want people to know why I despise summer because well I've got a couple of reasons. The main reason is the spiders, because they're all over the place, right? But no, I I've got I get spiders, you know, inside house spiders. They don't bother me that much. Still scary, but the outside spiders because they're fully black. That I'm obviously not trying to say anything, but that just looks scary, and. They've, they've got freakier bodies, and most of all, they move all around the room. And, um, I mentioned it before, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I did on camera, but I had the worst night of my life not long ago when an outside spider came in my room. And it caused me hell, mainly because how fast it was. And there were five different spiders in the room. And this is really embarrassing, but it was a really horrible and scary night. There were two small spiders that didn't affect me. But I still kept an eye on them. Two medium sized spiders. And one of them was the outside spider that really fast. And then one big spider. And um, the one I, the next morning. And my mum got the, ne and the big spider with a vacuum. But And then the other two spiders were killed later on. And the two tiny spiders. They're, I don't know. They're tiny. But. Um, what else? Oh yeah. That, while I was in that night. It was so bad. This is embarrassing and funny but for the first ever time i slept on the floor because i was just that scared because um i saw the fast spider go around my bed so i didn't want to go in anywhere near it so i just um slept on the floor but unlucky enough for me i woke up again throughout the night i don't know why i woke up at that point in the night probably because i was uncomfortable when i woke up i slept for like two hours and then I saw the spider name I've been, which is in a different corner of the room. It's on, all right, so, well, no, I don't need to explain it, but it was at a different corner of the room. So then I, I slowly started to get back onto the bed. And then, yeah, I fell asleep at five o'clock in the morning, which is, uh, and I had to get up at seven the next morning. So it wasn't an all-nighter, and I've never done an all-nighter, but that was the closest I've ever been to doing an all-nighter. And... It was a horrible night, but the then now because my mum did a full clean in my room, which was really nice, like a full clean, like and she also got the spiders. One was behind my the uh, TV stand, like the I don't know how you describe it, but you put a TV on it and it's got a bunch of drawers. And uh, it, it wouldn't the fast one was behind there, and then the other one was behind my wardrobe, or the other way around. And this morning, I just saw another outside spider that is bigger, but I don't know if it's faster or not. And um, this is going to sound funny. I even said it to Byron, but it was like a revolution or something. I don't know, but I, I just wanted to get rid of it because I didn't want all that to happen again. And I was less scared but because of that. So I got a glass bottle and I tried to get it. But apparently the glass bottle is stupid because... It like goes in dents in a little bit in the bottle so I had space so it didn't kill the spider but it, it fell down behind my bedside table which is next to my bed but I haven't seen it since then and uh, just now I just I think I killed it a tiny spider it was tiny so it wasn't that bad but it only scared me because I don't know if it's dead now or not and the first time I tried to kill it it failed which is why I'm not going to use those glass bottles anymore but I'm going to use a fully empty peri peri sauce bottle. Yeah, it's just the best thing I have in my room. That's right right now. And that's why I thought, oh, wow, imagine if I played this game. And I'm actually doing it when I'm on edge. So that's why this video is probably going to be short. Because I'm probably only going to do the first night since you can still die in it. But it's 
not as hard, so I'm probably only going to do the first night. I don't know why I ever came up with this idea, and I'm, oh, I'm never doing all like this again while I'm this scared. It's hard enough to play this game as it is because it's, it's really scary. But yeah, but whenever I play scary games like Resident Evil, for example, which I'm going to play through all the Resident Evil games, but I played through Resident Evil 7 VR, but I lost that whole series. Well, no, I started uploading it, but then I deleted them. But I played through that whole game, and um, when I when I start when I, like let's say I got on and decided to play it like halfway through the game when I woke up or well, after school or whatever and started playing it, the first bit was scary. But after a while, I got used to it. and It was like a normal game. I was just on edge and watch myself. And I basically I just got used to playing the game because I don't have many scary games. So yeah, but that happened. So. Yeah, but there was, even though while that was happening, only one part of the whole game was scary. I'm not going to say it because I'm not going to spoil it when I eventually play again, but I had to pause multiple times because it terrified me. But that's different. We're playing this now. And um, I'm only doing one night of this. I mean, I mean I'm going to turn the volume up even more because I probably won't die. Oh, but, oh no, I've got a drift controller. <sighs> okay. I really think I should switch controllers. Should I switch controllers? Ah, oh, but I don't want to move out my chair because I'm looking out for that spider. Yo. Byron, what, what are you doing? Alright, I'm gonna start. Alright. Oh man, I don't I don't wanna do this. Alright, so at the start of every night, um there's this. Hello, teddy bear. So if I see the spider while I'm playing, I don't think I can pause in this game, but I don't care. I'm just going to stop playing the game because I can't pause it. But I'm just, if I can't pause it, then I'll just... Oh. Sorry about that. I'm back. But if I see that spider, I'm just going to pause it. If I can't pause it, I'm just going to stop. Alright, um, alright, so these guys are my friends, one of them don't have a head, so these are animatronics, okay, this, is, I guess he's my favourite bear, and he's watching me, and um, there's someone laughing, and there's someone over here, alright, so I know what it is, and someone locked him in, because they thought it'd be funny, and now he's really scared. And I know the story behind this, but I'll, I'll explain it more. Oh, you fuck's sake. I would hide the tips, but I don't want to. It makes it easier. I hate it when the bells chime. Oh, you actually can't pause. The left door is the worst door because Chica goes to that door. And when you go there, you have to wait a couple seconds and then she starts breathing, but Bonnie starts breathing straight away. Right, I don't have to check the closet until I see the closet move. Not my footstep, right? Oh, okay, good. So it's not that hard but right now, but like this game, it's not that hard. There's infinite power. Should 
just all concentration. It's getting a bit easier now, but I mean for me, but the game's getting obviously harder. Man, can I just pause the game for a second? Fuck up, dog. There's so much sweat on me, but that's just because it's a fucking red heat danger. Heat wave thing. Oh, the tips went. I don't need the tips because I know what to do, but it makes it a lot more comfortable. Animatronic. I see. I can. I. I. Yeah. You probably heard those footsteps then. I think I hear breathing. No, don't go back. How do you shut the door again? No breathing. Oh, I really thought I heard breathing. Fuck off. Right, I think there's going to be someone at this door by now. Right, I need to figure out how to shut the door. Circle, okay. It's just air. Breathing doesn't sound like that. Just the wind, just the outside. <sighs> Fucking robot or whatever that is. Alright, it's 5am. <sighs> I haven't seen no animatronics so far. Except what? Except these guys I wasn't even thinking about the, sp the spider when I were doing that. I, to be honest, I haven't actually been thinking about it throughout the day. I have at certain times, but not really. Uh, all right, I, can, I can't even leave. Oh, the door's open. So, basically, as you can see, I'm crying. And um, my brother's making fun of me. I don't know, for some reason. And he won't stop until I find him. So I really feel bad for this kid already, but yeah, a little, a little foreshadowing. It get, it does get worse. All right, anyways, so all right, I'm going. All right, it's just, it's out the hallway. So let's see what's in this room, because it's the room I'm not supposed to. They're not supposed to go. And there's a little hint, look, Mangle. I feel that's just a little hint. There's no to do with that. Right, 
Right, get ready, guys. Because as soon as we go off that, that door there, something's going to happen. Ah, I'm joking. I knew it was going to be the TV. It's still pretty scary, though. No. Oh, no. I forgot about this. All right, basically. Right. Yes! Get out! So that's basically what you have to do. And if you succeed, you get a plus two hours. So I start at 2am. Now obviously I don't want to do this night, but since I won that, I'll try. Bro, I don't want to do this. Oof! Fuck off! I heard breathing then. I don't know if you guys did, but I definitely fucking did. Oh, okay. Maybe I got the orders of the hallway mixed up. Yeah, I did. Okay, Bonnie goes to the left way, never mind. That's why I heard him straight away. Alright, so that's what they look like, guys. Oh, fuck me. I, oh, so I don't know how they breathe, by the way. They're, I don't know. Definitely not. No, I can hear the little guys behind me. Two of them, okay. Every night, every night I'll be, I'll explain more stuff about the game. I can't explain the stuff about right now, though. Still there. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. Quickly, fuck off. Good one. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Sorry, I'm. I can't believe I beat that plus track thing first time. I normally hate it. One thing that's really cool is you can hear like dogs, motorbikes driving off and it makes it more realistic, which is cool. And like wind and stuff. I think, I bet Chica's gonna be at the door. Obviously, it's just a game, but I don't know why they just come in the room and kill me. Like, I'm powerless. I'm just a frail little kid, after all. Thank God the cupboard isn't there, because that... That brings a whole new step to the equation. 5am! Come on! I won't be here if I didn't beat that fucking stupid plush trap thing. <laughs> that I almost died. 
If my light flickers, that means they're just about to jump scare me. Like when I'm at the door. I think it's either, it, I, it either means three things. I'll tell you after the night, though. Chica's active. Oh, I saw him then. All right. Da ba da da ba da da bum bum ba ba bum 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 bum. Psh 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 psh. Right, I'll explain two things since I beat two nights. Um, one thing is, oh, we're here. I didn't expect that. One thing is, um, the so the those those bears, um, they're actually Freddy. Because Freddy isn't in the game, but he's them. So I've never been killed by them. But basically, when there's three of them, and the, there's three of them for a while, then they'll kill you. And, um, yeah, but it, they turn into Freddy because they're like Freddy's children. Obviously, they're not, but it's like they are. And another thing, which this one isn't as much information as I was going to say anyway, but the flashlight thing. Um, if, if it flashes, it means they're either about to jump scare you, they're at the door, or the guy's behind, the, the, there's, there's three uh, the things in the game, there's more of them. I think it may, might mean all of them. Yeah, let's continue with this, because it's giving a story. Oh, I also have enough a really important thing to say about... Yeah, I'll just say it anyways. There isn't just five things I'm going to explain about this game. Oh, there's also a night six. So there aren't just going to be six things I have to say about the game. There's a lot more. But um, this game is actually based before FNAF 1, 2, and 3. It's based before all of them. Which, obviously, it might not make a lot of sense because these animatronics look worn down and broken and scratched and stuff, but it actually is. But there is a reason for that, which does make sense. But I'll wait to a bit longer later to explain that. Oh, so there's some I don't, I'm not, I don't want to see down there. Oh, no. Yeah, but it's just a guy in a suit. Right, I guess we're going this way then. Oh, there's two. I understand those two animatronics and that, yep. Yeah. Because this kid's terrified of animatronics. No. Oh. So, um, it, you fail if it jump scares you or you run out of time. So I'm just going to purposely run out of time and then on the next night, I don't know how I'm going to leave, but I don't want to keep going. I'm done. I have to wait 50 seconds. I don't, um, but yeah, this kid's part older brother is it's bullying him. It's not very nice. This plush trap thing isn't all... Oh, this plush trap thing isn't all important in the law, I'm pretty sure. It's just a fun game mode to give you a head start. And it also looks like spring trap for fun. Yo, that, that, that was time went fast. Yep, that's what the death screen looks like, by the way. It doesn't say too bad, but yeah. Uh, I'm done. I actually can't leave. I can't press pause. Oh, so I'm just going to take the headphones off my head and just let myself die somehow. Because I can hear footsteps. Oh, no, I know how to die. All right, get ready, guys. So, yeah, that's what happens if you breathe, and that's what he looks like up close. <laughs> right, Byron, you can unmute now, if you're still there. <laughs> so, that was fun. That was actually not as bad as I thought. It was pretty fun. I don't want to continue, though, because 
Night 3, well everyone knows Night 3 gets more and stuff, but whatever. But that was fun. I am really excited for a... Oh, what? I can't remember what Night, night 5, yeah, because that is a fun feature. So does that special night, but that special night's a lot harder. But anyways... Oh yeah, just before I leave, my favourite animatronics in this game. Alright, bye.